let's take this back to the beginning. Rewinding a bit to August 2014. This was a couple months after I graduated from college and I was moving to Maui. From the time I was a little kid, my dream had been to play basketball in college. And after that dream was fulfilled, I began feeling a bit empty. I wasn't sure what to do or where to go next. And that is where Maui came in. I bought a GoPro before going because who goes to Maui without a camera? And I had no idea what would transpire over the following 12 months living in the middle of the Pacific. I found a new passion. I had another dream to chase. I was running around the island any chance I could get with whoever would go, which was most often my roommate, Chris. We jumped off cliffs, we surfed, we climbed up streams and waterfalls. Whenever we weren't working, we were out exploring our paradise home. And that's what it started to become for me, home. Idaho never felt like home. And I didn't feel like I really lived in Georgia since I only spent the college semesters there. So finally, I was forming an attachment to a place that I could see myself staying for a long time. But as often happens in the pursuit of one's dreams, I had a decision to make. Would I stay in Hawaii, in a happy, albeit stagnant place in my life? Or would I move back to the mainland and really make an effort of chasing this dream I had to create? As is probably obvious at this point, I chose the latter. But Maui never left my mind or my heart. Each year, I would go back to Maui, explore more of the island, reconnect with people there, reconnect with the island. I often didn't make it a full year without feeling that pull back. This must be what home feels like, I thought. And then came February 2018. I was headed back to Maui for what would have become, unbeknownst to me, my last trip for a while. Two of my very close friends were getting married and I was headed back to spend time with them and be in their wedding. It was incredible. Being back on the island with old friends and new friends, exploring places I'd been dozens of times and finding new spots. But then the wedding was finished and everyone went home and things slowed down and I was still there for another week. You see, I'd fallen for a girl I had known for years and had flown her to Maui so that she could experience it for the first time. I spent that week showing her around all of the beaches and waterfalls that I had explored for years, trying to show her this connection into my world, into my heart. It seemed like nothing could go wrong, but that was just me being naive. Things went wrong, as they often do, and now all of my memories of this island that had become home were tainted by the pain that I felt. And the one place I thought was home seemed lost forever. So for almost four years, I didn't go back until December 31st, 2021. Yeah. <laughs> Going through a lot of different emotions right now. Um, very excited, very, very excited. Also getting a bit anxious, uh, a little panicky. I'm not sure what to expect. I'm not sure what have flashbacks or other things I might have to deal with. Uh, last time I was here, I, I left with high spirits thinking that I would, you know, my life was going in one direction and got on a plane to New Zealand and a month later found out that my life was not going in that direction at all and did a complete about face. So, coming back for the first time since then, I don't know, we'll see, but it's, uh, I'm, I'm feeling a little intimidated, and I think we'll just have to wait and figure out what, uh, what I actually feel like. come back here I used to think I'm going home and it doesn't feel like that anymore
not home, but I'm not intimidated by it. I've healed enough that I can revisit the waterfalls and beaches I used to love without the painful memories. That being said, I'm not the only one that has changed. The island has changed. Some of our most frequented hikes are being shut down, and I was told stories of high tensions in the more remote parts of the island. The feeling of being here isn't the same. The vibes around the island feel different. What once felt like the only place I fit in isn't that place anymore. The place that took me from an insecure, unsure college student and began the transformation that I'm still partially going through. The comfort is gone. The draw is gone. I still have some friends on the island, but far fewer than I did, which is normal as time goes on to lose connection with people and to move on. I don't want to live in the past I don't want to be too busy missing the old days on Maui to ignore what I have going on in my life now. It's time to fully close the Maui chapter, and I may revisit this chapter from time to time, but I have to accept that I will never relive it.